What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Gideo and I'm back again with a new video. Today we're going to be checking out Russia and Ukraine, how their military forces compare. This video is by Sky News, I'm curious to see their story, so without wasting the time, let's check it out. How capable are Ukraine's armed forces against Russia's today? Let's take a look. Ukraine has about 200,000 military personnel across its forces. That's large but tiny when compared to Russia, which has around 900,000 regular military personnel. Ukraine, though, has around 900,000 in reserve. Now, those are people who have been trained to a military standard in the last five years. Again, though, they are dwarfed by Russia, which has two around two million reserves. On the equipment front, the Russians are also in a much better position. The Russians are in a position to be able to mount a major military action in Ukraine any day now. They have more than six times the number of tanks as Ukraine, with 13,367 to Ukraine's 2,119. They have also almost seven times the number of armored vehicles as the Ukrainians, with 19,783 versus Ukraine's 2,870. And they have more than three times the amount of artillery. Those are large weapons like howitzers, cannons, mortars, many of them operated by crews. And they're all built in Russia. Yeah, again, mm. it is a similar story. Russia has more than 10 times the number of helicopters and fast jets. What the Ukrainians do have times. over 400 surface-to-air missile launchers that could target aircraft, although this is still only a tenth of the number possessed by Russia. And Russia has an anti-aircraft missile system that many analysts say is the best in the world, the S-400. NATO Ooh. call it the Growler. It uses long-range missiles to destroy airborne targets with a 400-kilometer radius. And it gives Russia a defense system against foreign aircraft. Hmm. This is a big voice right there. Russia's military dominance over Ukraine is greatest at sea. <laughs> Even from all what we've seen, where it's like 10 times, 5 times more, 4 times more, and then C is like the greatest dominance. So imagine what it's going to be. When Russia invaded Crimea, it captured most of the Ukrainian fleet. And so Russia now has 74 warships and 51 submarines. Hmm. And That's it has experience lot for other using countries. the conflict. Russian warships have launched cruise missiles from the Caspian Sea against Islamic State targets in Syria. Hybrid warfare is something that Russia has mastered in recent years and would almost certainly be a factor in any conflict with Ukraine. So cyber attacks, for example, targeting Ukraine's national infrastructure. So Ukraine versus Russia is something of an uneven comparison. But the numbers do become more favorable, though, when you factor in NATO. We don't uh, know what will happen, but what we do know is that Russia has amassed uh, the biggest uh, force we have seen in Europe for decades. NATO has said that it will not send in ground troops yeah. to defend Ukraine. I just Ukraine want peace, is not man. a member of NATO. Instead, they are giving assistance at arm's length. But there are around three and a half million military personnel if you add up all of the NATO member states together. And so NATO against Russia in military terms is a far more even contest. Yeah. <sighs> They're having a peace talk right now. Hopefully the peace talk turns out well, man, because we don't want all these things. Even they are saying um, Russia is bigger than Ukraine military-wise. Even what Ukraine has is still very dangerous. That could still kill like thousands of people, you know? So we don't want anybody to use anything because one thing about weapons is they are very effective. <laughs> they are very effective. Even if a baby holds a gun, points it at you and shoots, it's going to kill you. So weapons are fe very effective and we don't want anybody to use them. So yeah, hopefully the peace talk goes the proper way. Let me know what you guys think of that video. If you want us to bring more like this to the channel, feel free to let me know in the comment section. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.